The beginning of the year usually means going back to basics with budgeting and looking for the best bargain deals. We are excited to announce our new collaborations with two new brands that truly bring us convenience. Of all the things we wish for you this new year, easy shopping transactions and affordable shopping are right at the top, especially now that the kids are back at school. Nothing as convenient as using the Momo app and walking out of the affordable super value meat stores to recreate love on a plate. everyone welcome back to the wood kitchen so today i'm being a good wife if you are a zambian woman i don't know if this applies to any other culture the chicken is a very very important part of our marriage um you know training as a woman the women get trained the men apparently they do but not so much not much not much the women are the ones that get trained we need to learn how to cook for the man make him happy respect him and since this is february um and my husband has his friends over i'm normally quite busy but i do make the time to treat him and his friends when they come over and one of the things you are taught to treat your man with and his friends are the chicken gizzards now i am cleaning them today and i've just realized actually the other day i was speaking to my bestie and she's like what's that because where she is in the UK, they come cleaned already. So this is how they come, actually. Um, normally, in a chicken, you would have to cut this open and then there'll be like some, you know, stuff that you don't need in there. Uh, right now, it's been slightly clean, but I'm just gonna clean it a bit more. So I just take out all this extra fat. I don't want it to be too fatty. You know, I wanna make sure that it's nice and clean. And this is how Mr. Wood likes it. Sometimes he helps me clean it, but mm, guys, I've got stories about Nondos and this man, he told me he wasn't so traditional, but I think when it comes to Nondos, that's the only time he becomes traditional. Anyway, so I've removed all that white stuff there, like the fatty bits, and then this yellow stuff is not supposed to be there. So Remember. just remove, you can hear he's around. Come and help, Kylie. Actually, this what? <clears throat> this yellow stuff. It's, what is it called? It's a membrane. Oh, okay. Let the me just membrane. wash my hands. Yeah, seconds. please wash your hands. Are you excited about your boys coming? Yes. I uh, finally get to be in my happy place. Now that the lads are around, you know. And my wife gives me a breather for a few minutes per day. But that's not me being complaining. I'm very grateful. Thank you for according me this, <laughs> this opportunity. So now, remember our encounter about the Nondos with like Mother said, Dearest. I've got many stories about Nondos. I didn't think that this was something that we needed to talk about. No, you know, I like to, to keep some things private about my life. We're going to discuss it. But um, since you want to discuss it, let me tell you this. For 10 Girls. Points. You know these new age boys who are like, I'm not traditional, I don't care about tradition. They will embarrass you. <laughs> Men will embarrass you. Let me tell you this story. So this one time, right, um, we had a few nondos in the fridge, but it wasn't enough like for a full meal. And it was just like Asante, me and Caleb at home. So I just decided, okay, quickly get some nondos out and then... This is your version of the story. No, right? yeah, this is my version of the story. Yeah, William was out at work. I said, okay, fine, he's not home. So Save let me cook him a proper nice meal, okay? <laughs> I said, let me cook him a nice, proper, proper meal. Mm -hmm. ah. <clears throat> anyway, so I cooked him the nice, proper meal. He came home. <laughs> and then, I think it was Asante, because Asante has this thing with her father where they just like to get me into trouble. <laughs> So Asante comes and she's like, Daddy, guess what we had for lunch? <laughs> he says, what? She's like, Nondos. <clears throat> He's like, what? That's why. And you didn't leave me anything. You should And I'm have like, dude, there were just a few. Who exposed Guys, the mother. Your daughters will embarrass you. <laughs> so, so it was a they team. will not have your back too. 
<laughs> then men will further go and embarrass you further because guess why he did he called my mom and complained and guys my mom is not like this new age she's traditional no ah, but i didn't was, call her it was you on did. a phone call you called her no 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 i wouldn't do that to you do I look oh. like the person who do that to you? Okay, let's make it even worse. He claims I was on a phone call with my mom. Mm-hmm. He comes and budges in on my phone call with my mom. Like I always do? Men. Because she's my mom. Am I not allowed to talk to my mom? I would not do that if he's talking to his mom. Oh. Like, I would respect. Wow. But no, he comes. He starts now reporting me to my traditional mother. <laughs> Guys, my mom did not let that go. Mm. She get, have you bought the nondos until she sent money mm. for me to buy the nondos for him to replace so and here we are as I'm cooking this there's some chifukush 10 years later if you don't understand what chifukush means and you're not from Zambia just know there was some <laughs> <laughs> it's That's hot in chifukush. this kitchen it is hot I'm in sweating. this kitchen I really love this though they are quite fresh Yes. And we got them from Super Value Meats. That's become my favorite place to shop yeah. now. For and you know, meat. it's so important to show this whole process because some people just, you know, in obviously it's from some other supermarkets, mm-hmm. they come out all clean. Them yeah. Out. But this process is good. It's you know? so important. I mean, one day you're going to visit the village and then you're going to be told to clean them and then you'll <laughs> remember that the wood kitchen taught you how to clean. You know what? I think we, we yeah, you need a trip to Kwaha. Come on. I do. I stay next door to your parents. No, 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 no. I mean, we need to go and touch base. Roots. I don't mind. Am I gonna stay at Liawa place? What? That <coughs> bougie place. No, you stay at our village, the Mushua Royal Establishment. There's lots of sand, lots of cassava. I don't mind. I mean, you'll be at home. <laughs> As a good one. Okay, so we're going to wash these up quickly. Yeah, let's wash them. <coughs> let's stop these conversations. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so our nondos are washed. <laughs> I don't know where that accent came from, but anyway. Which one? Bun nondos. You want too much I, Oprah. I've got a beautiful accent. Oh, wow. You guys need to check out my English accent. Ah, Should I try to speak to you my English is, accent? I think it's so beautiful. I've got so a headache. I think that right now I'm going to talk for the next steps in my English accent. And I'm going to tell you some guys, truths. Wait, wait, wait. Aromatics. Just wait. So I'm going to tell you some truths about these nondos, right? So the truth about oh, these nondos is that I had a recipe that I always used to do. And today I just really wanted to act like this was my recipe. But the truth is that it's not my recipe. My... It's actually Mr. Wood's recipe. So Mr. Wood is actually just going so to hot tell in me this kitchen. what I'm going to do. And he wants to show off to his friends today. But the thing is that oh, he will disrespect me. Okay. Wait. Let's, let's... Okay, let me just finish my sentence. No. It would be disrespectful <laughs> if he went to his friends and said this was not my recipe as Leandro, a Zambian woman. Can we get so, serious? As a Zambian okay, woman. Okay, guys, so as a very Zamb- important. Okay, wait, William, can I just finish my sentence? <laughs> not for real. You oh, cannot tell God. your friends that I'm not the one who made this. How oh, the one? It's uh, No, over. okay, but the last time you guys <laughs> came, that was my recipe and it was dope. But every man in Zambia, like, just don't do that to your wives. Like, don't say you cooked it, even if you're a great cook. All right, so here we go. The aromatics. We're going to go in with some peppercorns. Not all of them, half. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just act like it's fine? How are you doing? Okay, put. No, no, no. No, you want to show off. Yeah, in charge. You want to show off. I'm just putting it Yeah, just showing everyone that Lulu doesn't know how to cook nondos. No, but but you know, know. you've got your own recipe, but this is like mine. Okay, so what else? Half of this? Yeah, please go for it. In fact, just put them in because it's a very mellow kind of thing, the bay leaf. So it's fine. Thank you. So that's bay leaf. So we've got mm-hmm. about like how many leaves of bay leaf about here? Six about six in. leaves of small bay leaves. We've got the big bay leaves. You can use two bay leaves. Mm-hmm. Um, thyme. All right. So we've got some fresh thyme from the garden. You guys leave two sprigs know about my because garden. we'll use those later. Oh, okay, cool. So uh-huh. I'm going to leave those and garlic thread. Okay. All the garlic goes because you know we like so garlic. So that's in like about salsa. five garlic. Guys, we are the people who the recipe says two. Cloves oh, of garlic. garlic. Lulu and William. Eight cloves <laughs> of garlic. It's like the whole thing goes in. In there. Okay, cool. Alright, so some salt. So mm-hmm. just a pinch of salt will go in there. Uh-huh. Because you need to impart that flavor. Yes. And then mm-hmm. in with our water. 
It's All about right. what, 750 odd mils. Yeah. But eyeball it, guys. There's something that I'm looking for in my spice rack. Oh, I can't find it. What do you want? I normally put some paprika, some Heinz paprika, but today we're going to hero the Heinz crushed chilies. Uh -huh. So Williams put it onto the stove. That is great. So cool. do you need to get it hot or should the nondos now just go in? No, they can go in to start. All right, so I'm just going to put thing. the nondos in and then I'm going to start prepping mm -hmm. some potatoes on the side. William, you need to go and pick up some ice for your friends. So see you later. Thanks. And charcoal. Thanks. I thought this was supposed to be take care of William Day. Take care of William Day? Ah! What take care of William Day. Oh, take <laughs> What was that? I'm just gonna act. It's a family show. I'm great. Bye, William. See you later. Oh, my days. I, like, I didn't mean that per se. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna let this boil until it's tender, like about 20, 30 minutes. And I'm going to just cover it and then we start prepping something else. So we boiled the nondos mm -hmm. and we have drained them now, okay? Yeah. So we drained out everything, all the, the aromatics in there. We Take just them took them out. And now we're just left with these beautifully cooked nondos. They reduce in size. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad it's only one friend that has confirmed that is coming. Thank you for buying the charcoal mm. because later I know the rest are going to come. Yeah, and I've marinated some meat. So you know one thing that um, I was taught mm -hmm. uh, by my mom, but even your mom mentioned it. You should always have something ready to like take out of the fridge in case of visitors, mm. especially for you guys, because you guys are so random, especially over the weekend. <laughs> so one thing that I do is I marinate some meat, like some chicken, some beef. I've got some sausages that are just easy to take out of the freezer, defrost and throw it onto the mbaola or to the braai. Mm. And then these are also pretty easy. Um, I clean them before I pack them. So what we did before, I normally clean them, then I freeze them. Or never, sometimes I've, I've I'll parboil them. Such a proud husband. She's grown up so much. Oh, come, come, go there. Thank you, Dan. It's all for you. Stay to this part. It's all for you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, oil in the pan. Yes. Now we're gonna go and fry them. So, guys, I hope you learned that little trick. You can freeze them when they're parboiled, and then all you have to do is defrost and then mm -hmm. throw them onto the pan. So the pan is hot right now. Yeah. Um, and Okay, let me grab these gizzards. Okay. Get them golden brown. All right, my love. I'll start clearing up. So those are going to fry up for a bit and until they're nice and golden brown. And then we are definitely going to be adding more of this goodness here. So we've got some onion. Surprisingly, we don't have any garlic, but I think we had enough garlic infused in there when we boiled it. We've got some of our hero spice, which is the crushed chilies, and we've got some vinegar. Now the vinegar, this is the new part for me. I had tried, you know, putting aromatics and all, but the vinegar, that's a new part. I love it when it's rainy season. Can you guys hear the rain? Oh, Ooh. the air smells so good. So Nondos are frying nicely. They are frying, hey? Oh, yeah. So scratch <laughs> the braai idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my marinated meat later on and just throw it into the oven. Tips and tricks, not just for a husband, it can be for your girlfriend or for family that visits or for the guys. This is a definite Nkungulume recipe. It's so oh, easy. Oh yes, that's what you used to live by. Yeah, but when you were in Chipata. You know, single and eligible. But now, you know. Whatever, whatever. Crazy. All right. Life, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just boiled some potatoes and this is one of my quickest ways to just add a bit of pizzazz and just a bit more oomph to the meal and they so that they're just not eating the nondos alone. 
So I've boiled these potatoes just simply in salt and water. I've boiled them. I cut them as um, wedges. Hey, baby. So I'm just adding some of your favorites. Excuse me. I'm going to go in with my chili. Yeah. Don't finish all the onion. Oh, you want some? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he's frying over there and he's adding some salt and some... What Some else crushed chilies. The from crushed chilies. Are you gonna add the onions now? Yeah, two seconds. Just All a right. tiny bit so of salt I'm just for seasoning. A bit of these onions. I've also <clears throat> chopped some green, red, and yellow peppers for some color. Okay, I'm so I'm going to serve Should the I leave potatoes you half? with the nondo. Not too much, baby. Okay. Oh, not too much. So let him finish. I'm just going to chop this. You, you see, the onions always from. give like nice sweetness, eh? Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have my onions here. I'm going to get some butter. So this is quick, quick, quick. All you're going to need is butter, your peppers, your potatoes, and some onion. I love red onions, but I couldn't find them. They're finished from my garden. Also, I just got some fresh herbs from my garden right now, and I'm going to use some of the parsley. So you can use any herbs you want. I've got chives here, not chives, I've got dill, and I've also got some um, rosemary. But today I just want it to be parsley. I love, love just how parsley comes out. So this is quick and easy. Anybody can do it. As a guy, this is a quick trick. If you like some chili, add some <laughs> chili to this too, okay? Ooh, I cannot wait for these nandos. Oh, really? They're looking very nice. Huh? So I'm gonna need a pan while mm -hmm. we are doing that. And I'm just going to start frying up once you're done with that. How is it going? Cool. Okay, it's still like frying? Five, ten minutes max away. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so, another little secret is going to be your black pepper, your Heinz black pepper. So, I've got it in my pan. I'm just going to throw on the butter and let's go melt this goodness. Honey, you got to move aside. Uh -uh. Why the whole start take over? Because I can. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start melting this butter. We're well, doing some potatoes, some spuds. Yep, doing some spuds. <clears throat> this is really easy. I'm going to leave the um, butter and okay. then I'm going to add in some onions. Now, I don't really want to overcook the onions and the green and the peppers like i just want them still a bit crunchy so a bit of bite to it huh? yeah a bit of bite so actually i think i'll go in with the potatoes first that's what mm -hmm. i normally do I should i do a I small clean up here yes my love thank you my wife is very messy in the kitchen oh wow you know? look who's talking i'm always terrible. cleaning up terrible. after him terrible that looks nice thank you baby i don't know if this pan is too small though So I'm going to get that to start frying up. It's really nice. We just want to get in some color in there. And then we're going to go in with the onion. I love using red onion for this though, because I like, you know, raw red onion is so nice. So the onion and the peppers should remain slightly raw. Okay. Ooh. That's just coming on very nicely. Okay. <coughs> okay, so. What I'm gonna do, last thing guys, a little bit of vinegar. You get that sweetness from the onion, with this, that's from the onion, and just add a little bit of that uh, acidity on it. But make sure guys, <coughs> when you're frying off your vinegar, make sure it all evaporates, okay? And we are nearly done. How are your potatoes there, darling? Potatoes are going really fine. I am mm -hmm. now going to add in some of my peppers. Okay. Just add some color, really nice color and a nice crunch. And just, you know, gives me more food. <laughs> Get you guys, eat, guys eating your veggies. Ooh, I can smell that vinegar. Come out of mm, it smells mm -hmm. so good. And then what I like to do guys, that's why I asked Lulu earlier on to leave a bit of uh, time. So what I'll do is I'll take a few off, leave that for the garnish, and then straight into there. And the reason why we put it in last minute guys, it gives off that nice aroma and fragrance. Because sometimes 
if you put it in at the beginning, you tend to lose that flavor. It's so good. It looks so good. Do you want to put in a bit more? I think we need more color, or maybe at the end you're going to put in a bit, more. It with a bit more. So I'm going to now get some of my parsley. Okay, I think we are good to go here. All right, love, we'll be plating soon. Actually, you go get ready. You've been sweating. Imagine Just go I've get ready. Yeah, where did I put the scissors? I had okay. a scissors on me. Yeah. Where did I put it? I'll see you. Oh, you took it away. Yes, ma'am. Can I have it back? Because I'm going to chop some scissors. Can I? I love you. Later. Most times. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop in some of my fresh. Guys, I'm not a professional cook, so if any of the professionals think I'm doing this wrong, it's okay. It's my nganda. That's what they say. Inganda yandai, kunganda wangu in Tonga. So this is very, very easy and simple, guys. Try this. You can fry the potatoes even more if you want. I've used such a small pan today. But it's okay. Now we're going to go in with some of that black pepper. So we're going to go in with the black pepper now. Just a little bit. Add some beautiful color also. And also a little bite. Looks great. It'll taste even better. Okay, so we are done. Let me just bring everything here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but Mr. Wood has already been nimbling. Like, actually, nimbling. My witch is all good. Nibbling. Okay, so we're gonna plate it in this way. Simple little potatoes. Okay. He's gonna come and tell me if he likes it. I know him, he'll start changing, changing things. Anyways, his friend is almost here. So, this was just a very simple, you know, meal for the boys that are coming. I need to clean that up. I hope you guys have learned something from it. It's very, very simple. And then we've got the Nondos who are the hero. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so, so good. And those onions, because they fried for quite a while, are nice and caramelized. And then there's that uh, sweetness that has been brought up by the vinegar that he added right at the end. It's really, really tasty. Such a nice recipe. I hope you guys are gonna try this. Really, really nice. Those aromatics just infused in. Mm. I'm also going to add a bit of a dipping sauce. Oh, I just want to taste this right now. Are you gonna tell? Will you tell guys? Don't tell me. It's our secret. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I hope he doesn't turn down because I'll be Like he won't let it go. He'll tell my mom that I tried to taste the mandos. I feel sorry for the women in the olden days because you had a whole chicken and only one nondo and you had to keep it for your husband. Now, we don't need to do that. Just make sure you don't eat it with your children because your children are going to report you to your husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that tastes so good. All right, I'm just gonna leave this on the side. I think it looks amazing. Now you always have to clean your plate and make sure it's clean, so I'm just gonna get some serviettes here. You know, the one thing I learned from my friend Clara, black garlic and Mr. Wood, because you know, they are, those are real foodies, eh? But you don't serve on a dirty plate. That's some really, really tasty Nondos. Quite different from the usual. So, 
If your man's is not too adventurous, maybe don't put too many of like the aromatics in there. And it's okay, that happens. Or if your friends don't want anyone coming from you saying, Dulu just talks about married people. Okay, that looks nice. I'm going to add a few herbs. Wait, look at me, I was looking for the herbs. It's because I'm turning 39 this year. Like my brain is a bit, you know, slow. So we're going to get some of this and I'm going to get my scissors and then we're just going to chop it over and then I'm also going to get some of that thyme and then just put it over, you know, so that it looks like And I'm back! So just going to chop some of the... Yeah, I saw this online somewhere where they're like chopping your herbs. So I'm trying to be bougie. Mr. Wood shouldn't find me doing this. He's going to laugh. He's in laugh at me and say, but which that channel? Normally you don't do it like that. But hey. Okay. That looks nice, right? I hope you guys at home think this looks nice because I think it does. Um, where's my... Alright. We've got some of those beautiful sprigs. If someone takes a bite of them, it's okay because they're just gonna elevate the taste. It's just gonna be so good. Ah, let's hope my husband will, will like this and he'll be happy about it. Pressure. Honey! You. Is it ready? It's ready, my love. Are we moving? Oh wow, We're that looks moving. nice. Thank you, you like it? Mm. I want to add a sauce. Like, what sauces would you like? I thought some tomato sauce and some chutney. Um, chutney. Yes, that would be nice. And some sweetness mm -hmm. to that one. Okay, let's do this here. Or should we put like a ranch sauce as well? That'll yeah, nice. that would be nice. nice. That would be nice. Sure. Oh, there's that sauce that I found the other day. Is it this one? They had yes. jalapeno, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Sauce, it's really good. Trying to do it the way you do it so neatly. Hey, hey, uh, uh, uh. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> okay, his friends are coming. I think I've done a good job. Now I'm gonna go in Netflix and chill in my oh, room. I'm nice. gonna come out a bit later to be like, guys, are you still hungry? Can you taste some? Yeah, Before. you can taste, but don't, like William, just don't mess up my plate. I really want the boys to like, also think that I do stuff for them. You know, they're so, your brothers. Who do you live with? You and I'm always doing stuff for you, but I also need to treat your brothers. You know, looks so good. Okay, then I'll just I like wait. it. So I yeah, just wait. Mm. There's some. Did I leave any in the pan? You can taste the potato. Yes. Tell me if there's enough salt. Waiting. Mm. Enough no. salt. Mm. For real. Mm. Okay. Because of the butter, as well. Mm. And you boil the potatoes with some salt, so mm. it's all mm. good. Mm. That is nice. It's balanced nicely. Mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Can I take my food and go now? Thank you. Okay guys, that was the recipe for today. Bye. <laughs>